What is up YouTube? I'm back with another video here and got an old-fashioned mail day. Uh, won these cards, well, not actually in an auction, but it was a buy it now. Really cheap. Uh, it makes me wonder because you couldn't see, really see the uh, condition of the cards in the pictures. It makes me wonder because they went so cheap that may not be in the best condition but I took a chance won uh, the contents of this on eBay for three dollars and ten cents and it was like four dollars almost five dollars shipping and it came from let's see here don't want to show the uh, address I think it was South Carolina it looks like but we shall rip into it and I guess maybe because of the way they are stored maybe the extra weight and I think that is it and I'll show the The least to the best. Uh, it was a lot of shock cards. Well, it was two separate things. One was just the rookie card, and the other one was the rookie card plus these two, which are from '93 to '94. So we got some Shaquille O'Neal attack, shock attack going on there. Got a lot of glare too going on there. Goodness, and then. I picked up not one, but two. And these are not the uh, redemption cards that you get back. These were the uh, short print cards that were only available in the high series. I think it was like 136 or 137, I want to say. It's been so long. But, uh, well, got a little chipping there along the edge. But that is normal for those black border cards but number one NBA draft pick and the other one that was in the screw down looks to be in a little bit better shape a little bit of chipping but for a dollar dollar and something a piece I mean come on now that wouldn't even buy a pack of cards back then Number one draft pick. Shock Attack. Now, there is like a foreign version, I think, of this card that where it is white bordered, I do believe. I might still try to pick that up, but uh, this was his best rookie card. Shaquille O'Neal, 92-93. The Shock. Shock Fu, Shock Attack. He was really a hot prospect coming into the NBA. Kind of overshadowed Alonzo Mourning. And then you had Christian Leitner in that draft class. Uh, you had uh, one guy that got a little love there in the beginning was Harold Miner, who was uh, dubbed Baby Jordan from for his resemblance to Michael Jordan. Uh, who else we had? Lafonso Ellis did pretty well. Walt Williams. Clarence Weatherspoon. Uh, Jimmy Jackson. I think he had some kind of contract issue and didn't sign until later on. But I recall him doing pretty good. Uh, Todd Day. Just a really, really phenomenal draft class that year. And... Uh, Pretty much that draft class was likened to the 84 draft class with uh, Dan Marino and all those. John Elway, it's 84, 85. Uh, oh, my memory is failing me. I think it was 84. Uh, but that will do it for this video. And we'll see you in the next one.